Hi guys, this is Sarah and as you can see here, I have been doing some interesting work with Photoshop. The thing is, is that I got this interesting request asking me to do 8-bit art. So I'm going to introduce you today, today to um, the tools you need to do 8-bit art and let's start. Important tool number one is probably the most important tool you're going to need. We're gonna go from view to show extra and grid. This is the most important tool or the number one tool you're going to use here. Important tool number two is this right over there. The rectangular marquee tool, I believe. You're going to need those too and you have here your swatches if you don't see your swatches then just go to windows and just click on swatches over there now i'm gonna zoom in a bit i did choose this uh 1024 by 768 i think or so now as you can see here i have uh, all my work you can see here kind of equal in the size or so and here is how I do it first let me explain something about the rectangle mark we tool or some or whatever that's called the rectangle selection tool this tool over here or this one over here will pop once you select any of the selection tools and uh, what I'm going to explain here apply on the four tools or actually any selection tool if you select an area here or you just go ahead and you know just select whatever automatically it the, the the mouse or the area that you selected like before this will disappear and another one will appear you probably have seen what it does it doesn't need any more explanation than this here's an interesting one this is called the intersect tool I can do, uh, draw two uh, or three whatever squares I want and I can even combine them together like so uh, so I have a very interesting map looking thing here's the subtract tool which practically subtracts and here is a, a very unique tool that I select whatever area that I want to keep and I want to raise the rest so instead of just going on every selection tool and erasing that I just select this and the rest disappears now I am going to deselect that and well you cannot have an idea on what the rectangle tool or what can you do with and I'm gonna use the um, here and just gonna count on the grid let's see I have here like a cube and now I'm going to use the subtract tool I'm gonna subtract Actually, this is the, um, the combining tool, I'm sorry. I'm gonna subtract, let's see, two cubes. You see, you just have to play around with it and you'll see its use. I'm gonna select like or take out one from there and these are actually sunny meters I believe and I'm gonna pick any color any random color this blue will do and just drop that blue in and if you want to copy this instead of redrawing it every time here's a simple way first you just uh, copy this by control C that's a shortcut while you are selecting the shape on the layer like that layer you go to a new layer and then control V then if I move that while I'm standing here you'll see that I actually duplicated that and then again control C that here that layer and then a new layer control V so I'll be able to move it in whatever and uh, if you want to put those three together or three layers together or not by not combining them just select those, th uh, those three control G you put them in a the group you can move them together as a group or you can open that and select every one and just play around with it 
and that is it really it's simple as that now you guys have fun if you're doing games or something or layouts or or whatever you like um, but make sure to follow me on Facebook Twitter and you'll see some interesting stuff and drawings that, uh, that I've been uploading recently there and if you have any other requests just leave them in the comments related uh, to Photoshop or Illustrator or anything in general to drawing and I do crazy stuff I, I did an 8-bit artwork request what <laughs> crazier can uh, can get I don't know be creative come up with some interesting stuff and I don't know um, surprise me so yeah that's it I'll see you in another video and uh, bye bye guys